Hey guys, Andrew Edwards here, editor-in-chief of GearLive.com, and about six months ago or so, maybe a little more, I did a video showing you how to greatly increase the speed on your Xbox One. In particular, I was talking about load times. I had just picked up Fallout 4, load times were getting ridiculous, up to 30, 40 seconds in some cases, and it was just insane. So I wanted to find a way to drastically decrease those load times. And what I ended up doing was showing you how to take a simple hard drive enclosure, USB 3.0, and an SSD, combine them together, put the SSD inside the enclosure, and boom, you've got an external SSD that greatly increased the speeds. And I'm talking about taking the load times from about 40 seconds down to about 10 seconds, so an increase of 75%. Now this was a super popular video, I still get comments on it to this very day, and a lot of you guys, it worked great, but for some people, for some reason, the hard drive I recommended, which is the SanDisk SSD Plus 240 gigabyte, didn't work right. Now Microsoft does say if you're storing games and apps on an external hard drive, it has to be 256 gigabytes or more. This is only 240, but it's worked perfectly fine for me. Never had an issue with it, again, for over half a year. But since some people have been having some issues, I figured I'd redo the tutorial with a better hard drive. So if you watched my previous video, this video is gonna show you how to upgrade the external hard drive that you created. And if you've never seen it yet, here's how to greatly increase the speed of your Xbox One. I'm gonna leave links to everything I mentioned in the description box below so you can create your very own external SSD for your Xbox One. Let's get to it. First, let's look at the setup that I currently have and which I explained in a previous video. I took a 240 gigabyte SanDisk SSD Plus unit and put it inside of an Enatech 2.5 inch drive enclosure, which supports USB 3.0 speeds. This gave me a homemade 240 gigabyte SSD drive with the ability to simply upgrade the internal drive whenever I want to using the same external enclosure. Here's the issue though. Microsoft says that officially, the requirements for storage for games and apps on an external drive are that one, it must be a USB 3.0 drive, which this is, and two, it has to have a capacity of 256 gigabytes or more, which this does not. The 240 gigabyte drive I've been using has worked perfectly, but I'm assuming that for those who are having an issue, it's related to that minimum storage requirement. Now, we also know that games this generation are huge in size, some coming in at as much as 80 gigabytes or more. So with the 240 gigabyte drive, even if it was completely acceptable to Microsoft, after three or four games, you're pretty much out of space. After swapping new games on and off the drive for the past few months, I decided to increase the storage capacity and go with a better SSD unit. So here's what we're gonna swap out to. I was able to pick up this 960 gigabyte SanDisk Ultra 2 SSD as part of Amazon's Prime Day for $165. That's almost a terabyte of SSD storage, which should give me ample space to store a good selection of games while keeping the ones that I don't play as much on my five terabyte external hard drive. That one isn't an SSD, but it works great as mass storage. And I'll leave a link to that one in the description box as well, in case you're interested. The SanDisk Ultra 2 is also a much better SSD than the previously used SSD Plus. You might not need 960 gigabytes though, and if that's the case, you can also get a 480 gigabyte drive instead. It's cheaper and still gets you above that 256 gigabyte standard. You can also go with a 240 gigabyte SSD like I've been using prior, but your mileage may vary. Now, upgrading this is gonna be the easiest thing in the world. Before doing this, I moved everything off of the SSD and onto the Xbox One internal drive, so this drive is completely empty. All we're gonna do is slide open the Enatech enclosure to reveal the SSD, then simply remove the old SSD, then take the new one and slide that one right back into the enclosure. Make sure it's in there securely. Now all we need to do is replace the cover of the Enatech enclosure, and that's pretty much it. If you're doing this for the first time, it's even easier for you since you don't have that first step of having to remove a drive in the first place. Now simply plug it into your Xbox One. I recommend using the USB port on the left hand side if you have a standard Xbox One. When you plug it in, the Xbox will ask you if you want to use it for games and apps, and if so, it'll format it for you. And once you do that, you're pretty much done. Now you can move any games that you play regularly right to the SSD to get those speed gains. And it really does make a world of difference in games like Fallout 4 where load times can be straight up maddening. That's all there is to it. Do this and you'll be spending a lot less time waiting and a lot more time playing. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I'll get back to you. And remember, I have links to everything in the description box below so you know exactly what to pick up if you want to do this. Thanks for watching. As always, guys, please do hit the like button if this helped you out in any way. And if you loved it, hit the subscribe button to join almost 50,000 other subscribers to find out more about all of our future videos. Until next time, I'm Andrew Edwards, and I'll catch you in the next one.